Hello, how are you? Tis Tuesday. Tis Tuesday. Tis late. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, baby. Yeah, I've been a busy bunny today. Um, you're welcome, Alan, by the way. Thanks for mention. <laughs> um, uh, today, as I say, we're uh, following on from yesterday. One of the things that we discussed early yesterday was the packaging in the early days of Cooley, where it was in anything, stick it in the box and away it went. Or stick it in the bottle, it didn't even get a box. The new generation, so the new whiskey renaissance that we're all experiencing now and it all has grown, has really seen the care and attention gone into the packaging. And one of the companies that I think was really at the start of this, it was Bernard Walsh mm -hmm. uh, and brand awareness. And brand awareness is a real, real key thing these days because if you guys aren't uh, looking at the brand, if you aren't engaged with the brand, and we even found it with the, the Whiskey Bus when we were doing it was... You could see the, the, the brands that are really building a community yeah. and really working hard at building a community. And one of these has been uh, uh, Walsh and Riders Tears and the Irishman, the two brands that they own. And even through the transitions that that company has experienced from being a small little startup, making their coffee liqueur to their first source whiskies, all the way up to all building. Popped into my head was the hot Irish. No, Ta -da. I know the video, yes. Uh, the Irishman. Woohoo! Uh, and through the tribulations with the, the Royal Oak Distillery and mm. uh, now going back to, you know, the Walsh brand and now being bought out. And, and still there's a following. And the one thing that's been consistent all the way through has been the retention to detail and packaging. Oh, definitely. Really, really fantastic. And one of the ones that's most sought after is this bad boy. This was the cask strength release. So these are the, they do an annual release. And these are not other ones that I, 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 I just don't get it at times. I really don't get it. People are asking us about collections and stuff like that. And everybody goes after the Middleton very rare. And again, I'm not dissing Middleton very rare to do it and to do it very well. But I mean, these guys do a, a limited edition annual release. 2011 was the first year of it. But there's 2017, 5,200 bottles. 2020, there's only 1,500 bottles. I mean, of the Middleton Very Rare 2020, we estimate there would be in the region of 16,000, if not more. Absolutely. And yet there's only 1,500 of them. And they're still, you know, they still can be found in the wild and they still can be picked up and all that sort of stuff. And as a collection, as a display piece, I mean, look at that. They're all lined up there. I don't like okay i don't like the design of the box you don't like the design of the box of the whole thing okay because you, i well i think you're coming at it from a particular angle i'm not the packaging no the packing not, no it's not got to right, do okay. with the packing it's the actual you know it, it looks beautiful right right i'm not denying that yeah but it's so impractical it's not even funny because you have to take it completely out of the box yeah and put it standing in front in the square thing yep but then if you are trying to get at it to open it it can be an ordeal trying to get the bottom. it up it's with, a particular angle yeah, yeah no, absolutely I, I does, get it to you. it does my face and in. we've had bad experiences with shipping them yeah. i mean if anybody's ever got one of these shipped by us sometimes they might find we might put um the tape on the top of it paraffin around the top, the top because and one of the reasons being is if they rattle in the top of it, it, it can damage the screw cap and they can leak. Yes. And we've had a bad experience with that a couple of times. Yeah. So but with people sending it to us. Yeah, but even for us sending we oh, we had oh, one. We yeah, we had, my one bad. we had one damage as well. So they they've there is a bit of a flaw there. I haven't contacted Bernard and, and But the concept's be like the But the yeah, gorgeous beautiful again, but back just my original box yeah. thing is yeah, 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 and you're right, Katie, and, and you're right the voice. Uh, their new one, so the Riders Tears has always been one of their, their their mainstays. The Irishman, they had these presentations, which is the, the various different incarnations, the Founders Reserve, and so on. The normal Riders Tears, Sinead, just over there, uh, is the, the Double Oak. You've got the Redhead, you've got, uh, there's been a few different ones, the Marsala, the Florio, Cognac. all of them, Cognac, uh, absolutely. There's been a fair few of them as well. But these are the new incarnations, and this is the Irishman 17 year old European oak. Um, again, aged in a sherry, but lovely presentation. Really, really nice presentation. Double doors, 
Ooh, clocks up in the, nice. in the bottle at that. Uh, again, some of the things that they've done, I mean, they're, I think, I, I may be, I stand to be corrected, I think that the world's first with Braille on the front of a bottle. I mean, I think it's just a genius. It's 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 inclusive. It's where whiskey should be. Whiskey's for everyone. So whether you're sighted, disabled, you need to be able to know what it is. And it's fantastic that they've done it. And again, one of the first ones to do it. Uh, so innovation from... Thank you. Thank innovation you. from uh, Bernard and, and the team again. Um, talking about reincarnations... The Jemson 18 has now gone through uh, another reincarnation of its uh, presentation. It's probably one of the most changed presentations of all the bottles available in Irish whiskey. Because it's you've not had, a wooden box anymore. Is it? It's not in a wooden box anymore. It's in the recycled green oh, vegetarian. Like the, like the 21 year old. Yeah. But in a yeah, green. Yeah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll take one of them out and show it. Actually, we'll take it out now here and show it. Um, so it's now done like the the new 21 is done and it's the Jemson 18 in a cardboard box uh, no more of the wooden box it does have a small wooden plinth on it ah, so much and it's got the middle than the other one the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. but the other ones were gorgeous they I were, mean they were a real were. statement piece and the maps of Bow Street and the, the cask strength version with the brass plaque yeah, in the front no, it, it was really, really, really pretty, pretty. Um, you've had smaller brands like uh, Matt Darcy um, do that 17 year old with the double doors on the front again uh, take that origami origami oregano or, oregano uh, again look at that for a presentation isn't that fantastic uh, limited edition bottle again 209 of 384 bottles 17 year old single malt uh, that brand is now part of the Ecklenville stable, stable. Uh, go the other way around sorry I did uh, but again, it's a lovely presentation. And then Egan's are another one of these ones. Uh, they're black. Is it the Centenary bottle? Yes. I think we really, really like that. It's a matte black bottle with uh, the matte black ghosted writing and the imagery in the background. Again, another one. So, <laughs> this is the thing that I've been sort of, how much we've evolved. And we'll talk about tealing later on in the week where we've seen the the evolution from the, the old squat bottles mm -hmm. of the 21-year-old to, you know, everything that they've the done really with the... Long, sort of elongated one. Oh, oh yeah, the decanter, the, the Australian... Yeah, and, um, yeah but should the 18s in that now. 18s yeah. in that now, exactly, yeah. So that. But there's loads and loads and loads. And as I say, this comes out of two ways. One, for just a display, a visual display. They're really impressive. I mean, they're impressed. Bottles to have. That, I think, is a gorgeous display. But the collectability of them as well, as I say, Riders Tears, I've been harping on about these for quite some yeah. time. They've been going under the radar with guys. You're still picking up the, the, the 17, the 18, and the 19 of these for sometimes below retail money or just around the retail money. The 2011 one, the one that has the two glasses and the scroll and all that with it, they are top <coughs> dollar and have been getting top dollar the last couple of ones we've sold. Um, that's it as I say a bit of a rush job today because I uh, was away no you were busy bit. I was a busy bunny busy you were uh, tomorrow we will be talking about something uh, I haven't <laughs> a, yeah um, haven't a notion not a notion there's so much stuff coming in I mean you guys were talking to me there's lots of Waterfords there at the minute there's lots of there's gold spot I mean again scotch. Is that scotch scotch yeah and there's a few look at that I only noticed that when I was going through the aisles there earlier on yeah. the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society presentation look at that yeah, there's some nice shiny boxes glossy in box yeah. but again I think an awful lot of the Scotch brands are trying to not keep up with, no, with, with, with the Irish I mean for years I mean you look at the Glenrothes bottle they're clicking that people buy with their eyes buy with their eyes I mean you they're walk in and you've got to stand on a shelf yeah stand out on the shelf the only problem with these ones is the only I mean, way again, to for store a retailer, them is that way yeah but for a retailer as well your shelf way. height yeah. I mean you look at the difference in height between a standard bottle and that yeah. And so you're a retailer or an off license and you're trying to pack as much of a display in a virus whiskey as possible. Are you really gonna have them? And very few places it would have multiple years, so they're only sort of yeah. taking up with that. So it's between that and the big fellow. They could put the big fellow standing beside them. It would probably be about the same. Do you see down at the 
Look at that. Nearly the same height as well. Just, just and Egan's speech. as well. Yeah, they're all doing it. They're all doing it. That's us. We're done. Uh, talking to you tomorrow, Wednesday. Good luck. Bye.